I felt that I would be with Dick forever. It's, it's weird. I look in the mirror with a CLG jersey on or a CLG shirt. I'm just like, those aren't the right colors. I think the first week he was in the house is super weird. I wake up and I go downstairs and I'm like, what are you doing here? Scar coming over from Dignitas, I don't think it was really weird. It's just, you know, Scar wanted something more. I kind of really felt stagnated in how I was in my role, like as coach. Like, I didn't feel like I did a great job on Dig. I felt like there's a lot that I could improve, but I wasn't sure how I was going to do that. It took me like a couple weeks to figure out where I really wanted it. Originally, I had planned to actually quit coaching on Dig if we didn't make it to Worlds. I felt that I kind of deserved a second chance for myself, uh, and I, I decided to take that second chance with CLG. For the longest time, like I didn't even like realize or know that Scar was going to be on CLG. There's this like guy I used to always talk to and look up to and ask him for advice when I was on the amateur team, and now he's suddenly our coach. It's really cool to have a coach that's in the house with you. Remote coach didn't really work out for us, so Scar is here now to fill that gap. As we got to know him more and more, he's like a really nice guy. He opened up to us really quickly, and you know we got to know him really really fast. He just feels like a normal part of CLG now. I definitely feel like the transition's already happened. Like moving in, talking with these guys on a day-by-day -day basis, working with these guys on a day-by-day -day basis. I'm learning a lot. I still have a lot to improve on. I just want to make sure that they're focused and they're playing at their best. I think a coach's job is to make sure the players play at their maximum like potential or maximum ability to play. And it's up for the coach to bring them to that level consistently.